and still in feature here is our daily feature my hustle my life my story by brian gad <music> Small businesses are at the heart and soul of Bungoma's economy and communities. They put a spotlight on the local merchants who donate their time, talents, goods and services for the betterment of our community. Roji Investment Limited spreads viral in Bungoma market as a local business who have the opportunity to share their story. Roji Investment Limited. As you know, we have investment for how long? More than eight years now. Mm-hmm. So that is small. Mm-hmm. Normally, we have 20,000. Mm-hmm. That was the capital. That was also a mindset of livelihood. Mm-hmm. Yani hapo ndio ninunua nyumba, hapo ndio nipanga nyumba hapo ndio niku. Nikule. Ulitoka location nyingine ukakuja hapa ama ni hapa tu ulianzia? Yes, nyingine ya kibandani. Aha. Sasa kibandani nilikuwa ka sisile ka table, table like table like a cabinet ya mbao. Yes, na from there. Uh, we had we had we had the benefit of to do a kazi. Mm-hmm. That it works for someone. Yes. So I had that experience. So that's what I implemented. That's someone I have been going for four years. Just before you began your venture, what were your inspiration for it? Uh, I wanted uh, a better life for my, my, my kids and my, that's my family. Yes. I wanted a great thing for them. Mm-hmm. To see all those, all those things in the best. Yeah. Uh, and also to have a... Uh, say, good sort of living. Mm-hmm. Generally for my, my, uh, my family. Yes. In the Kanyuba Kazuri. Mm-hmm. Uh, good means of transport, uh, good education. Mm-hmm. So you have to work for them. Mm-hmm. Work for them means that uh, if you work for them, yet you don't have the capital. So it means that you have to start from some, somewhere. Uh, what products do you sell? We sell paints, we sell glasses, we sell uh, cushions and mattresses. Mm-hmm. In a day, how many customers average did you say you would have? If you don't count. Yes. And it depends also with the day and uh, the day and the time of the month. In 10 years or a decade to come, where do you want a business enterprise of yours to be? I would like to, we'd like to, uh, we'd like to play the big league. We'd like to play the senior league. We are seeing uh, get through. We get to get through. Next five years. Yes. It should be a big fun. Do you have competitors around? Actually, yes. Nearly everybody is doing the business now. Uh, you are knowledge of the job. That's what matters. That's what, well, that's what puts you ahead of the others. The first you see new sales. Yes. The sales are good. Then that means that you're doing well. Yeah. If the sales are bad, that means that things are not going on well with you. Maybe your thoughts are poor. And that's also, that's also encompasses the price, the pricing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He sensitizes the need to do passion-driven hustles in order to unlock transformative income generations. Do, do what you understand. Do what you understand. Mm-hmm. Say like uh, you have like uh, hundred thousand, and you have your knowledge is uh, made in cereals. Do the two cereals. But you can take a hundred thousand, then you just start business without that experience, yeah. without, that, without that exposure. You'll burn out. <laughs> you burn it up. You'll burn out that to crash up. Mm. Young entrepreneurs create new jobs and shape local economies. Young people equipped with entrepreneurship skills are better able to navigate the challenges of today's rapidly changing job market. For Maisha TV, My Hustle, My Story, my name is Brian Gard.